Hello, I'm Bob Ross, and I'd like to welcome you to the 20th Joy of Painting series. Tell you what, let's start out today and have run all the colors across the screen that you need to paint along with me, and I think we'll just do a happy little picture today. And let's make some, let's make some happy little clouds in our world. Let's come right up here, and we'll just take this brush, and we'll just bounce in some, some nice shapes. Now, when we're doing this, we're interested in the white area, not the dark, so don't worry about the dark area. We're going to blend that all out. All we're doing is putting in some color for the shadows of our clouds. And this is one of the nicest, easiest ways of making very effective, great big old clouds. There. See, but we're interested in this white area once again. Maybe there's another little cloud that lives in our world right along there, wherever you think they should be. Now, I want to, I want to make some tiny little mountains up in here that are far away. I don't want these to be very big because we want to create the illusion of distance here. Using a very firm pressure, just literally push this right into the fabric. And I don't want, I don't want a lot of mountains today. That's about all we need. There we go. And when we're painting mountains, as you know, you always want the top of the mountain to be more distinct than the bottom of the mountain, because at the bottom, we have mist, and now we have wonderful pollution, and we have all these things that break up and diffuse the light, and it creates this softness at the base of the mountain. And I don't want this to be very distinct. I want this to be very quiet, subdued, far away, gentle, soft. Think about those types of words and stuff when you're painting, and it'll help your, it'll help your hand go much more gentle, but very soft. Don't want a lot of detail in this. Now, we have to make a big decision. Where does our little foothills live? Maybe we'll have one coming right over here. We'll start this one out back here, just using the corner of the brush and pulling straight down, gently. Maybe the little foothill comes right over like that, wherever. Once again, this is a very individual thing, painting is. so. Just sort of look at it and, and make up your mind how you want your painting to be. Now then, when you're doing foothills, especially layers of foothills, you want a little misty area in between. That's your separator. Let's have some water in this painting. If you've painted with me before, you know I'm a fanatic for water. I love water. And it's one of the nicest, easiest things to paint in this technique. And today, maybe this one will be still water. So we want these lines to be basically straight across here. Because as you know, still water is always flat, always level. There. Now, just very lightly, go all the way across and sort of bring it together. And that light area here, it'll remain in there. There. Okay. Now, now very lightly, go across. Very, very lightly. Just enough to blend it and give it the feeling of water. Maybe back in here in our world there lives, well, there does now anyway, there lives a happy little evergreen tree. And we just use the corner of the brush, just the corner, and as you work down the tree, add more and more pressure so the bristles bend downward much, much more. Look at there. Isn't that a nice way to make a happy little evergreen? You can do anything here. On this canvas, you have total an absolute power, unlimited power here. <laughs> when I go home, the only thing I can do is take a garbage out. But here, I can do anything that I want to do. In your world, you can do anything that you want. If you want this shrubbery and bushes and trees to come all the way across, then do it. Now then, let's put some highlights on these little trees. Don't want to overdo. If you, if you put too much highlights on here, too many highlights, then it loses its effectiveness. We want these to be quite dark. Look at that. And that's all there is to it. Darker, darker, darker. You know, maybe down here there's some little grassy things that grow on this. And you can just make those by pushing up with the brush. That's all. Let's give him a friend. You know me. I think everybody, everybody should have a friend. Friends are so important. All right, maybe shoot in our world. Maybe just three trees here. 
You can put as many or as few as you want. The only thing that we would like to teach you here is how to make a tree. Shoot, I think we have a finished painting. With that, I'm going to wish you happy painting, and God bless, my friend. I'll see you next show. The most fun part of this whole technique is washing the brush. So let's do that. We wash our brushes with odorless thinner. Shake off the excess. <laughs> and just beat the devil out of it.